All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the, uh, we're trying to do this again. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. So Samantha, if you can check on the phone while I'm going here, guys. So welcome to episode number 10. We're here with the Pro Hustlers TV. This is where we interview uh, entrepreneurs, hustlers, business owners, people that are inspiring. Mm -hmm. and we can see it? Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. The first one we just did just now, we weren't able to see each other. So it was like me talking and just looking at it. So anyways, uh, so first of all, I want to make sure that if you guys are watching replay, let us know where you guys are coming from. And so that way we can you know, leverage it, comment, you know, be engaging and stuff like that. If you guys are watching us, let us know if you can see both of us. Samantha, if you, Samantha, if you can say hi. So hey, guys. Can you hear me all right? <laughs> Perfect. So test us. Let us know, guys, in the chat if you guys are watching. Thank you, guys, for the patience. And again, you know, the first thing what I want to do is I want to introduce Samantha. So Samantha is a social entrepreneur. She's an online business mentor, and she's actually a founder of a hub for change and an Amazon number one best-selling author. And basically, what was the book name? It was Social Media Superstars. That's right. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. So anyways, if you want to just let us know, I know you have, thank you for being here with us. I know you have limited amount of time, but what we want to do is just start with your why sort of, you know, how, who is Samantha and what do you stand for? Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me on your show. It's it's such a pleasure to be able to share my my journey with uh, you know people who may be aspiring to be entrepreneurs, people who are um, you know entrepreneurs and looking for you know ways in which they can level up. Um, happy to share my my experience, and I hope that for those that catch this, that you you get some value from this, and you can really it helps you to take that next step in your journey wherever you may be. And uh, yeah, my entrepreneurial journey, um, a little bit of my backstory. It uh, yeah, it started as a really young girl, right? Like I was that girl who loved garage sales and lemonade stands, and and started my own babysitting clubs, and uh, you know, handed out flyers, whatever, right? It was just it was just exciting to me, and uh, you know, I had the opportunity to go to university, and I and I really, you know, as much as I didn't know exactly what I wanted to be when I grew up, I I just always remembered that I loved those home businesses, and I thought. I'm going to go to business school. So I did. And I, I majored in entrepreneurship and marketing. And, uh, you know, at, at early on, I thought, you know, I kind of didn't envision myself kind of having that corner office doing the sort of the corporate path. And and I think that that was just more from TV, right? We used to get sold on that. And, and you know what, though, like two years into my university um, degree, I had I took this one course and it was called Social Context of Business. And it really opened my eyes to the possibilities of using business models to really affect social change on a global level, on a sustainable level. And that really excited me, right? I had no interest from that point on. I had no interest in working for just any company. I really wanted to create something that was that was going to make an impact. And so that's what I set out to do. Um, you know, and leaving university, I didn't really, I had all this book, all these book smarts, right? Um, but I'm, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, they, they, they're not the same, right? There's there's the <laughs> textbooks, and then there's like experience, and uh, and we'll definitely get into this topic later. But um, but yeah, I, I I set out and I found some entrepreneurs to work with. I was I assisted them in different ways with their marketing, with their um, just administration and things like that. And 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 then I just started creating my own business plans, right? And and I'll be honest, I didn't I didn't get them all even past that business plan stage like I you know most of them I barely got off the ground and it was tough like I went through some serious growing pains right and I think that if any of you have tried entrepreneurship you know that that's just part of it right and and you and we learned to sort of embrace that and and to just keep moving forward and uh, but yeah that really that that was tough I for about 10 years I would just start and stop different businesses and I had to fall back on all sorts of unfulfilling jobs and at one point I got really discouraged and I and I almost settled I almost in my mind settled it for that sort of like that real career which was you know working for a big company and and uh, in management and you know it looked good on paper but inside I was not fulfilled and so you know I one thing led to another and I there was still that part of me that was that had that vision right and that's so key I, I always had that vision of, of what I would create and even if it was even if it wasn't crystal clear at that time, I had a sense of it. And so one thing led to another, one person, one experience led to another. And I found, finally found after 10 years, my ideal mentor. And 
and the ideal business platform for me to really realize my own vision as an entrepreneur. And so today, what I'm so passionate about, what I'm so committed to is really helping those aspiring entrepreneurs, people that, like myself, struggling entrepreneurs who have that idea but don't quite know how to get it fully um, off the ground, right? And really have that impact that they seek to have. And so, you know, I do that by by connecting them with with the kinds of training and resources and communities and and my own experience, um, you know, things that help me to get to where I am today. And I I just I'm committed to paying that forward. So hope That's that awesome. You know, like you you hit so many points, and we'll touch on some of the questions I'm going to ask you. But one of the things that you mentioned is like when you go to school and you learn all kinds of different things you know, and through from a textbook compared to learning from someone else. Actually, I was talking about that yesterday. Um, and it sort of brings up that point of that, it is that experience, it's, it is about the mentorship. You know, same thing when I started, I was in the corporate world as well, you know, 18 years of a you know, long, hard, wrong hours, but I thought maybe I'm already there and, you know, I'm comfortable and you're getting the paycheck every single year, but you're away from your family. Because we have some professionals that make a massive amount of money but they don't have time to spend it, <laughs> you know? Oh, so yeah. that, that's the hardest part about it that, you know, it's just finding a way. And then, you, know, you said, you mentioned it took you like 10 years to figure out exactly. And you finally found something that works and same thing with me, you know, is when you have those entrepreneurs coming away and my passion completely changed and probably in the same way is first it was about money. Now it's more about helping people. And you actually realize really fast throughout your journey that things change really fast. Absolutely. And I would say that if you have, you know, if you have a desire, you know, and it's and it's been sticking with you for a period of time, like, don't give up on that, right? Like, I think that as long as it's on your radar, things will fall into place if you keep that vision. So it may not right. happen right away, but don't settle, you know? Don't you imagine how many people we actually inspire. Like, I, I get calls or messages and stuff like that. It's, it's not about just making the money. It's, it's about making... The, the difference and how their confidence bring up, how they actually bring up. And let me ask you another one that, you know, I, I used to get asked a lot, what gets you out of bed? Like, you know, you get up in the morning and you get motivated, but what gets you out of bed? Well, once again, it's that vision, right? Like that pulls me forward. That gets my butt out of bed when I'm tired because I have a big vision for Hub for Change. You know, we are a collective of social entrepreneurs. We, we support each other, we collaborate on different social ventures, and I wanna see that grow to thousands and impact millions. And so, yeah, there's no sleeping in for that. You know, I've got, I've got, a, I've got I'm on a mission. Um, and, you know, on a personal level, you know, I see myself living and, and working abroad. I, I really want, I desire to be a global citizen. You know, I don't wanna be, Personally, I don't want to be stuck in one place. Um, and you know, as well, I, I have I have real ambitions to to be able to support um, my family on different levels, and uh, you know, support my my mom in her retirement, um, and you know, buy my dream home on the west coast here. That's you know, so things like that. But yeah, the vision is is so key, and that's definitely what gets me out of bed. And and now you know, I I'm working with lots of people, and and. And they're depending on me too, and so it's not just about me. It's about the greater vision. It's about the people that I'm, I'm, I'm working toward that vision with, and yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. You know, it's like a lot of times. You know, how many of you guys, if you guys are watching, comment below. It's how many of you guys press the snooze button. <laughs> you know, we all done it. I'm so <laughs> But it's totally different. It's like imagine if you're going for an exciting trip and you're all excited. And you have to get up, tell your kids you're going to Disneyland. They'll be up first thing in the morning. Tell them you have to go to school. There's no way they're going to get up. That's the difference here. And that's what I learned. But when we go through those and getting out of bed, like, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's exciting. But we'll go through obstacles. You know, what keeps you going when you face those obstacles yourself? Maybe give us some examples. For sure. I mean, like the vision, once again, is, is a part of that. It helps pull me, pull me forward through those obstacles. And on the, other, on the flip side, fear, you know, there's a healthy amount of fear. I don't want to go back to living a life that was, that didn't have a lot of purpose to it, right? Like for me, I, I, you know, I was working 14 hours a day for a salary that was technically good in terms of society standards, but, but wasn't going to set me up long term, wasn't going to allow me to really create um, the kind of life that I wanted for myself and others. And, and uh, so that that fear yeah uh, that's a good healthy fear there um and 
And you know what? On those days when there's still a little bit of fear, and maybe I, I, I'm hesitant to do some of the things that I know would make, would push that needle forward, that would, that would continue to grow that my business. You know, I really do focus on being of service to others, right? It's not about me. And if I don't put out that video, or if I don't, you know, um, reach out to, to to someone, whatever the case may be, like that that that's possibly impacting them, right? And so, and you know, I can inspire people that way. So. Yeah, and also I think just with experience as an entrepreneur, you you get to be if you're not already, you're you're you know you start to develop more of a solution-minded kind of perspective, and there's and you realize having overcome lots of obstacles that there's always a solution, and so just that's how you approach it, yeah, mm -hmm. for that's, sure. That's, that, and I know you touched on something that uh, was actually just recently, a few months ago, actually. Um, I heard it from other people, but for me it was, I heard it here and there. It's about how you don't make that video or how you maybe don't message that person or maybe that person says, you know, I'm broke, I'm struggling, whatever, but you give them inspiration, maybe send them a book to read or something like that. And I came across something that sort of totally blew my mind. I thought, you know, when I had someone that, you know, I reached out months ago and, you know, he was on the call and you know how you get a lot of messages as, you know, us as entrepreneurs, you know, we're marketing. And then what happened was we ended up talking back and forth and he said he just lost his mom. He was, you know, he was really struggling. He was depressed. So literally I took five minutes out of my day, hopped on a quick call with him, suggested some books, you know, got him a little bit motivated and stuff like that. Things that I learned from my mentors mm -hmm. and then let it go. A few months later, I get a message from him saying, hey, Rafael, how's it going? I just want to thank you for everything because I owe you everything. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. You know, you know, I get that message. And yeah. I said, no, Rafael, like, really, I owe you everything because the time that I messaged you and you took the time out of your time to hop on a call with me, I was mm -hmm. in a bad shape. I lost my mom. I was about to commit suicide. And because of you, I didn't do it. And that blew my mind. I was like, like, one decision. You don't make that video. You can motivate it. Make someone's day. Make someone smile. So mm -hmm. definitely. And we don't have to be entrepreneurs to do that. It's amazing the impact we can have in people's lives just by taking that moment to, to care. Right. Oh yeah. I'm just thinking about it. there's so many like yeah. stories like this I hear all the time. So for sure. You know? I can totally agree. Obviously, when we do entrepreneurship, we have some big lessons. <laughs> so yeah. can you share some of the biggest lessons that you have learned since you started your entrepreneurship journey? Yeah. Uh, the the biggest lesson uh, that I, I've certainly made on many occasions and, and that I learned probably about a year into my business was this business was that, you know what? And I think a lot of people underestimate this, but the, the importance of developing ourselves, uh, the inner work, uh, you know, the, the, the skill sets, the marketing, the, the, you know, some technical stuff, whatever it, you know what people, we can all learn that they're all learnable skills, but that I, I had, and I had done a really good job of learning that I had invested, with all of my time into the marketing side of my business and 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 at the end of the day I wasn't producing the kinds of results that were possible because I actually wasn't on an energetic level I was not able to receive it you know I had deep deeply ingrained um, uh, self you know unworthiness you know yeah. that I hadn't that I wasn't fully aware of you know because I had denied it and I'd suppressed it in different ways and that's a whole other story that perhaps for another go live and but it's uh, you know that inner work is huge and um and so i would really encourage everyone anyone who's pursuing entrepreneurship to not undervalue that to really spend as much if not more time in fact a lot of people that we're uh working with uh are, are advocating for 80 or 90 percent of that being the, the the biggest the biggest factor in creating what we want to create right mm -hmm. um you know i'll give you a, a perfect example i had um i just got a Plug in my computer here. Sorry, I had uh, I had uh, met was I had uh, connected with someone who was ready to invest five thousand dollars into some of the solutions that I offer, and and he literally was giving his credit card, and I refused it because I was not on an emotional level. I was not there, right? So that talk about like not not feeling worthy. That's a prime example where I was literally pushing away money, and so. Marketing is important and all those skills and stuff like that, but but the inner work is, is where is the, the big mindset, thing. Yeah, I, I remember like I said, we're, I mean, even when I when we, we first started, I remember our journey, you know, together. 
it's it's you learn so much you become more confident and I think that's one of the biggest things in our uh, business is that when you do online marketing when you do you know the things that we do and you teach and you learn the skills but the inner work it is important because I know how some people are coming in here and not the money part is great that they're learning how to make that part of it but it's the confidence that they learn and how they feel about themselves how they start cutting those negative people off you know how you first start out you don't really notice the people negative in your life until you start hanging around with the people that are so positive and it's like that person complains every single day about every single other thing so it, it is amazing and and I one know, of the, oh sorry go ahead i was gonna say that actually just reminds me of, of, of another big lesson is that you know, I, I wanted to help everybody, right? And not everybody is ready. Not everybody's ready. They're not, they're not ready and they're not willing to create change in their lives. And I spent a lot of time and energy, um, you know, trying to help people who, who weren't, weren't in a place for they're that. So, they weren't already, yeah. You know, and, and, and in doing so, I wasn't focusing time and energy in, um, to help others who were ready and would have benefited from what I could offer. So that's the other big piece. Yeah. And, and I think, I think this is the big one that, you know, when it comes to mentorship, okay, how important, you know, is mentor to having a mentor in your life? Huge, massive. I mean, for a decade, I had, I attempted to, to start businesses on my own uh, without mentorship. And, and I was, yeah, I mean, trial and error is one way to do it. And it's, it's possible, but it takes a lot longer. It takes a lot longer. I mean, you know, a decade versus a few years, you know, like um, it really just cuts that learning curve. And, you know, um, I, I tried to reinvent the wheel. Why not learn from what, what, what works? Like stay, you know, mentors help me to stay on the cutting edge of, of trends and, and to do and to really leverage what's working. Right. And sometimes when we're not tapped into people who have that experience, it's just, yeah, it's um, I think you're just, it, it's limiting it's limiting, self-limiting, right? And so, um, huge advocate of mentorship, and that's why I, you know, I, and it made such a big difference in my own experience as an entrepreneur. That, yeah, that's why I'm so passionate about paying that forward. Absolutely. Well, even when you have a mentor yourself and stuff like that, you can actually go into, and the mentor is going to kick your butt, is going to motivate you, is going to, is going to keep you accountable. But at the same time, like you said, like right now, imagine the experience that you have right now, and you have the new people that are coming in in your to your business. Now you get to teach them, no, 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 don't do this. It's going to save you time and money and, you know, and the headache. Start doing it this way. And that's the beauty about having a mentor. And I, I personally think, you know, that's awesome to have one. And, you know, we all we all should look for. And if you don't have a mentor, look for someone that admire, you know, that you, you can look up to. You know, that's somewhere that your life you want to be. So if you guys are doing stuff like that, definitely, definitely mentorship. Okay. This one, I, I know every single entrepreneur We'll get this question. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently? I mean, I wish I had a time machine because all of you guys, <laughs> comment, comment in there if you wish you had a time machine right now. <laughs> Just comment oh, time machine. Goodness. You know, and I, I actually, there's so many things I would do differently. And I, I love that I get to actually, um, in a sense, live vicariously through those that I mentor today because I tell them all the things that I did wrong and they don't have to, right? Yep. So, um, I would listen. I would have listened to my mentors more. You know, I, I, you I would know, have I, to my parents. You know, parents telling you to certain things. It's, it's the same thing. Parents are like your mentors at times. Totally. I mean, I had some old habits that you know, from having tried to be an entrepreneur for a decade on my own. Like I, I was very self sufficient, or I thought I needed to be. And there was there. I think there was some shame around like needing others, and um, I don't know. I, I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, like even though I had access to so much support, um, you know, it was, I, I still wasn't in the habit of using it. And so, yeah, leaning on the communities that I was a part of and, and listening to my mentors, that would have been, that would have been a, a game changer. Um, do, you get, do you get sometimes, you know, when the new people are coming in, they're sort of like afraid, they put you on a pedestal and they're like, oh, I don't want to bug you. Oh, I don't want to bug you. Yes. yes you get that? Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure, and I and I try to squash that as quickly as possible. I mean, I, I you know, and I and I, I also want to encourage them to be resourceful and to be self reliant and to trust them themselves, right? And 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 at the same time, I always say, you know what? If you've tried X Y Z, you know, on your own, 
Uh, I would rather you message me than to waste time and to, you know, and to, and to delay, you know, unnecessarily, right? I, if I can point you in a direction quicker, let's do it, right? Let's get you back on track. So I always tell them the first thing is, you know, bug the crap out of me, like literally just bought it. You know, I had one girl, she quit. And the seven months later, I reached, she reached out to me and she goes, I'm like, where did you go? What happened? And she goes, I was afraid to make a thank you video. And I'm like, <laughs> You know, so we all have different fears and different things. So yeah. it, it is, it is amazing stuff. But yeah, uh, and but also, you, yeah, go ahead. Taking like taking way more imperfect action, right? I am a I am a recovering perfectionist. I must say, um, <laughs> yeah. we all are. <laughs> yeah, and and you know what? Like, um, I think it's so important to we learn so much quicker from doing than from like trying to understand everything perfectly before we take action and you know fail fast fail forward um you know i spent so much time learning and so little time applying right it was probably like 90 10 when it should really be reversed that ratio right like done learn something and is apply. better than perfect done is better, done than, is perfect. better than perfect guys so everyone that's my best thing done is better than perfect i actually had it written down i don't have it here but i used to have it like get to it because you can't perfect it. You know, that video you want to perfect and you have it. And then you spend days at it. It's like, it's better to put it out there because you'll never get it done. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so cool. So is everyone proud <coughs> to be an entrepreneur? It's okay. So can, can anyone be an entrepreneur? Because I know the answer already, but. Oh gosh. You know, everybody wants, I think not everybody, but wants, a lot of that's people. Word. Who wants? A lot of people want to be an entrepreneur. They like the idea of it. Um, and I think, I don't think everybody is suited to entrepreneurship. I think, you know, we can grow to, like, if the, there are ways to grow into being an entrepreneur. It's just that willingness to to do that work. And and so, you know, that's primarily an inner, an inner game, once again, right? Like, the skills, not overly complicated, you know, they're, they can be learned, right? But it's, it's, you know, that willingness to let go of old programming or conditioning from our childhood. It's that, um, you know, willingness to take ownership of our lives and our businesses and, and to, you know, um, really to be the creators, right? Like it's uh, being a self-starter, right? Not everyone's a self-starter, yeah. especially because of that programming of having, you know, like having been in jobs that say for most of their lives, right? Like they're used to being told what to do, when to do it and all that stuff. And, you know, um, Oh, big thing um, is that trading that instant gratification for long-term fulfillment, right? Most that is huge. Yeah. Most people are are not willing to do that, or they don't. I think Balaj mentioned it uh, the best way. I think he says that if you're not willing to invest three years or even ten years of your life or ten thousand hours to make a million dollars, let's say, then you know people have that fear of doing that the failure and they want to have like you know make that quick but well i'm not seeing any results and all of a sudden when you get to that some people are working 40 50 years to get a pension maybe if you can retire and here you have the ability you know as entrepreneurs to build your own legacy but it does require a lot of hard work a lot of dedication sacrifice and some of the things that you guys when you guys are watching this and maybe you're thinking about being an entrepreneur i mean yeah, unless you try it, you don't know, but don't expect to learn everything and keep going. As long as you don't quit, you will be successful. Yeah, and I think that um, people who are really suited to entrepreneurship, um, it's like that that um, they get excited about being a lifelong learner and about about continually sort of expanding on a personal level, right? I think that that, but not everybody is interested in that. A lot of people stop learning after their mandatory schooling. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's just some people they like, jump from one area to another. Oh, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. But how many people like you know how many people in our in our just field and stuff like that when people are doing it like we have people that have no results in seven months but they kept going, kept going, and all of a sudden, boom, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, hundred thousand per month, mm -hmm. and that that's the difference is about you know doing the work and having the mentorship and everything else that comes with it. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. So how do you choose who to, who do you want to mentor and who do you want to work with day to day? Because I know when I first started out, I thought I can work with everybody and you quickly realize that those people 
will take so much of your time and it's better to like literally let go of thousands and thousands of dollars of commission and work with the person that actually will work with you. Absolutely. Yeah. I definitely made the, the same mistake. Um, I ideally I'm looking to work with, uh, and I only choose to work with people who are really, um, eager to rise to their potential are eager to make an impact. You know, um, for my long-term vision, I want to be partnered with people who, who, who are sort of aligned with that. Right. Um, and are people who really get the importance of investing in themselves, right? Because there is so much that is, that is absolutely critical to being successful as an entrepreneur. Um, you know, people who have done some inner work, uh, or at least are open to that, right? Skeptical, um, but open-minded. I love that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people who are, who are self-responsible, who are disciplined, um, you know, or see, you know, once again, like I think some of these things can be learned, right? Like I, I wasn't overnight, like you know, know. disciplined and, and you know, I still, I'm still not perfect. I definitely have days where I'm not very disciplined, but in general, just that that's, you know, having high standards for oneself. Um, I'm not sure that that can be taught, you know, I feel like some people do and some people don't and, and, um, yeah, I don't know, just. Common yeah. sense is not so common sometimes. <laughs> and also people who really value community and mm -hmm. being of service. I just think that that's integral to 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 being successful as an entrepreneur, right? Um, we are as valuable as the value that we put out into the marketplace. And, and also, um, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, that those are the kind of people I want to work with, people who really, it's not, a, it's not just about the money, it's about really Making a change. Making a change and, and, and being being of service to others and, and I just I don't know. So that's that's who I that's who I seek to work with and that's have you noticed that uh, when you start to work with more and more people that you get to actually see really quickly who is the person that you're gonna be able to work with? Absolutely. And sorry, how do I or do I see No, that? you do, like you can tell already, like you know, like you can see the difference. You know, Absolutely. right away, like sometimes like within 10 minutes, I'll be able to see if I want to work with this person or not. Oh, for sure. And you know what? And it's, and, and at the end of the day, to be perfectly honest, yes, I do a lot of group coaching. Um, and, you know, it's not mandatory. Those who show up are going to benefit, right? Um, but I, I also do dedicate time one on one to people that I'm mentoring, right? And I only do that for people who are taking real action and who are, who are, who are reaching out, who are really, you know, um, seizing opportunities to to benefit from what I have to offer and uh, so yeah that that definitely plays into it right the you, people they self-identify pretty quickly oh yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. You can, when you do it when you deal with thousands of people <laughs> after a while you get to figure out and I know that we all have passions and everything else what do you love the most about the business and the work that you do oh gosh I love a lot of things um well, first of all, I mean, central to my business is that I get to, I get to help empower people on all levels, right? I get to help them to really enhance their physical, their emotional, and their financial health. And and for me, like I believe in having it all. That it's possible to have it all. That we there, we shouldn't sacrifice one thing for the other. Some people are sacrificing their health for a paycheck or, or for money or whatever. It doesn't you know? Um, I I just I just think it's it's all about that. Um, you know inner happiness, physical well-being, you know, financial means to to really be able to to live a limitless life and 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 I just that's that's amazing to be able to sort of help people to create that for themselves and uh and you know building a business online allows me to connect with people all around the world and and to be able to inspire um you know, I'm often inspiring people. I don't even know it until they message me. I, we're not even connected, like because I do a public. You know, I'm I'm a public figure, so I, I share publicly, um, and it's just incredible. I love being able to connect with with people and and just to to see what kind of what comes from it, right? There's so many possibilities um, for the connections that we can make. Um, you know, helping someone to see their their strengths and to really um to develop those strengths right and then being able to witness the progress that they're making and then receiving the gratitude from them when they you know yeah. it's 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 i don't know i love i love what i do i love being able to um yeah to to affect change in my own life and and, and inspire others and 
in doing so inspire others to, to do the same for themselves. I don't know. There's so much. It's so cool. It's so cool to just to watch you right now, how passionate when you're talking, how passionate you are. And it's like you come out so because you literally feel it inside you, like how you get those messages, you get the people. And a lot of people are actually even watching, just watching the one comment, the one like, and a lot of you guys do that. So comment and like right now. <laughs> but the, the main thing about it is it doesn't matter about the likes and comments, it's about the impact. And if you can make someone's day better, if you can make them smile, all of you guys smile right now. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that, that's what that's what it makes because you are here and you can it's that ripple effect that you're creating, which is awesome. So that's Two that's weeks cool. ago, I heard from someone who I went to high school with 20 years ago. I didn't even know we were connected on Facebook. And he messaged me out of the blue saying that he um, that he was so inspired by my posts and he was asking me all these questions about, you know, how do I. How do I see the puzzle? How do I create this? You know, like and 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 it led to a really a deeper conversation where I could I was actually able to really help him from some real personal experience that once again I won't get into right now, but it's just it's incredible um, to not it, even know that you're impacting and then to, to it, it, it is back. a word. I think word is one of the most powerful things you can do because you can hurt someone really badly score them for life or you can make them empower them and make them feel better and so you know when you say something when you say something positive when you stay positive i mean when i used to go to work i used to go yeah go to work and be happy because my mentor told me just go to work be happy it drives people crazy <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah that, definitely so okay and then um because i know you have to run soon so what advice would you give someone? Let's say they're looking to start a business. Maybe it's online business. Maybe other way of having a side hustle. Maybe they're looking to get rid of that, you know, the their nine to five job. Maybe they want to get rid of their boss. But you know, <laughs> what advice would you give them? Like, where should they start? What should they do? Because there's so much out there. I remember when we started, we was like, where do we start? Yeah. Well, I would say wherever possible, leverage other people's experience, leverage other people's time, their their um, uh, you know their money. Like there's there, we don't have to do everything ourselves. We don't have to self finance. We don't have to you know learn everything on our own. We talked a lot about this. So leveraging other people's experience, time, money, um, you know, is 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 really I think some of the best advice that I I would have given my younger self because I, I did it all wrong for a long time. Um, and, you know, because we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We really don't. I mean, at least if you're just getting started, especially like, hey, go ahead, reinvent or not reinvent the wheel, but invent something totally new. And, 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 and yeah, you can get into some of those other projects down the road. But as if you're getting started, really lean on on there are systems in place. There are, you know, companies that you can align with that you don't have to do a lot of a lot of aspects of the business. Right. Um, you know, so, you know, we have a really great a really great area to look at if you are looking and just open to new opportunities is the area of affiliate marketing um, because it really does leverage a lot of the things I just mentioned um, and the other thing I would say is is just get started right like if you've had if you've had that desire that that entrepreneurial bug that itch inside you know like and you've had that for a little while now and and you keep coming back to it you know uh, trust that Trust that 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 there's something within you that is looking to be expressed, and 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 you know you'll never really know unless you try, and you don't want to you know down the road regret that you never even gave it a chance. And what, uh, if, what if? Remember that question. What, what if? if? Oh, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. No, um, you know, and 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 really, something I like to remind my myself and others is you don't need to see the entire path to take the first step, right? And in fact, I'd say that's it's, it's impossible. You know, think about um, like driving down a, a foggy road, right? You can only see a certain distance in front of you until you, until you drive that extra little bit and then you see more of the road, right? And that's the same thing and I think when it comes to um, creating a business is, is you're going to learn as you go. You're going to uncover what the next step is as you take steps. You know, to so many people that I've I've spoken to, they want, they feel they need to understand everything perfectly in order to be able to take that first step. And it's just, it's not realistic. You know, you and I have been in entrepreneurs for a while now, and we we're still learning, we're still figuring out what's the next step. Oh, we're learning, we're, yeah. You know, things change quickly, right? Um, and so we need to just uh, adapt and change with the the trends, with 
you know, advances in technology and social media. Like, so it's impossible. So just get started, take the first step, learn as you go and trust that gut instinct that, you know what, maybe you're meant for more. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's something that you want to, that, you know, maybe there's a greater vision for your life that maybe you haven't allowed yourself to invest the time um, uh, into yet. So. Yeah, I want to add a couple of things into that too as well because a lot of times I know when I started and I get this uh, a year and a half later someone comes up, well, I'm ready to start. It's when you're ready, you're ready, but do your own research, you know, find out what is the why you want to get started, okay, and take action. And like, you mm -hmm. know, like something that you said, like, what's the next step? What's the next step? That's all you have to worry about, you know, but when you – and find something you're passionate about. If you can literally, instead of going to work that you hate and do something you're passionate about and get paid for it, you're set. <laughs> That's Absolutely. all it is. It's literally finding something you love to do and get paid for it. Yeah. And if you've got questions, ask someone, right? Ask somebody. If you suspect you're interested in a certain line of um, business or a certain type of business, find somebody who's doing that business and ask them. We love hearing from people, right? We love being able to offer share our experience. It's it's uh, it's flattering. So just yeah, reach out and ask somebody if if you're if you're curious about the next step. Yeah. Awesome guys. Anyways, mm -hmm. um um, I'll add in a second, you know, how people can reach out to you. But guys, if you guys are still watching here, make sure you comment below. I want to see who's, I know, maybe you're one of those people that don't want to press like, you just want to watch. That's okay as well. <laughs> Eventually we'll get some likes or comments. But and the main thing about this is the reason we're doing this, you know, the, you know, I came up with the you know, Pro Hustlers TV is to sort of just give you guys a little bit of feedback. Even if you just get one, learn one thing or something will inspire you by hearing Samantha's story or someone else's story. You know, maybe you are an entrepreneur, maybe you're really successful, maybe you're struggling, things like that. This is the reason we do those little things, and that's the reason I wanted to have it on here. And so if you're watching and if you would love to be part of this, reach out to me. I do have a I, literally we just started like about a couple months ago. We have a waiting list already, but doesn't matter, reach out to me and see what we can do. I actually just started out helping some of the other struggling entrepreneurs once a month, like pick some, you know, one person, I literally just help them with the social media, some coaching, some business advice, so that way you can help them. And, you know, if, if you guys are there and watching this right now, you know, how, Samantha, how can they reach, reach you? Well, I am definitely uh, on social media all, all, all the time. So, yeah, message yeah, me I'll on put it up here. Yeah, message me on Facebook. I'd love to hear from you. Um, that's a link to my business page there and uh, my Instagram. Um, just search for my name, you'll find me. And uh, yeah, would love to connect. That's awesome. Yeah, we've got some comments here. Uh, Ashley mentioned says, just so many golden nuggets. Thank you so much for the value. So that's what this is about. And some of you guys are going to be watching a replay. Please comment replay. Let us know if you're still here and you're watching and you watch the replay. That means it's awesome. We did something right. <laughs> All right, Samantha, thank you very much. I know you got to run. So we'll finish this here. Uh, thank you for being here. It was a pleasure, it was fun. And I know we started out with a little hiccup and <laughs> it didn't work, but now it works. All right, guys. In the life of an online entrepreneur, as far as I'm That's concerned. It. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. We'll see you Thank soon. You. Thank you.